Welcome to another Subspace Games YouTube tutorial. Today we are going to continue the Godot Game Engine tutorials at GodotEngine.org with a video covering scripting. Game engines usually provide scripting languages to add custom behaviors. Click on the link to learn about GDScript, which is similar to Python. Here you can find out about the syntax, the variables, control structures, keywords, and operators. This would be a good place to learn the basics of what you can do with GDScript, but let's jump right into the tutorial. First, let's go ahead and create a new project. We're going to go to our Godot folder, and let's create a folder called Scripting. Okay, let's go ahead and open the folder, and let's call the project Scripting as well. And then we'll go ahead and click on Create and we'll open up our project for editing. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is get some things to operate on. So let's create a new node and we're going to create a panel. And let's resize the panel so that we have room to operate here. And let's create a child node of that panel and we're going to do a label. Now the label, let's go ahead and rename it to this is a label. And you'll see it automatically resizes now let's go ahead and drag it to the middle so we can operate on it or see it and then let's go ahead and uh, add another node we'll do a button now you can see here that the button is actually a child of label and we don't want to do that because you can see the reference it's putting it right where the label is so instead let's go ahead and reparent that and we'll put it on the panel so now we can see that everything is in reference to where the panel is and let's call this uh, press me and then let's move the button so that it's right below the label. Now the next thing we want to do is we've got to have a script. So let's click on the script icon. But before we do that, in order to make things a little bit easier, let's save the scene. And we'll call this uh, Say Hello. And now when we go in to create a script, you can see that the path has automatically been set to Say Hello. Um, and the class is uh, something that you can't change. Um, so let's go ahead and hit create and now you can see that the script tab has been opened and our script is in there and then if we also go over to the scene we can see that the script icon is next to the panel and if we click on the panel and then go to the properties you can see that the script has been added say hello so let's click on that and go to the edit and we're back here now what we want to do is we want to get the button and we want to add uh, to the event we want to make sure that the label will change its text when we press the button so we jump over to scene and click on button and we have this little handy button that if we press that we can wire directly into a pressed event um, but let's not do that it makes things a little easy too easy so let's come over here to the script and we're gonna wire this up manually so let's start by getting the button we'll do get node and then we called it button so we're gonna go ahead and put that in quotes as you can see the name is button now if we double click on it we can change the name but we'll leave it as button so now we've got a reference to the button and let's go ahead and add a function that's gonna act as our event and so we're gonna do on button pressed and we want to change the text on the label so let's get the label and we're gonna use the get node function again and we'll just use uh, the name of the label which is just label and then if we do set text we can change the text of the label and let's change it to something like hello alright now we've got our callback function there but we need to wire into the event so we do that by doing connect and then we're gonna call out the event which is pressed we're gonna tell it where the event the uh, callback function is which is in the same class we'll use self and then we have to grab the name of the function that we'll use as the callback. So we paste that in there. We'll close off the quotes, close off the function. Now let's go ahead and save the scene. And then if we start up the scene, we can see that voila, there we go. We have our panel, we have our label and our button. And if you click it, it changes to hello. So that's the basics of the scripting language. And next time we're gonna cover scripting in a little bit more detail. One thing that you'll notice here is we're on the code screen there's no scroll bar over on the side so it's just a little thing I noticed you just kinda have to click in the code 
and then arrow up to get it back on the screen. It's probably a bit of a bug, but just one of those things you just have to get used to. Uh, thanks for being here, and we'll see you next time for another uh, video tutorial.